guys, welcome back to another episode of Victory Match. And today, this is a, a double Nerf back-to-back -back, um, review. Um, today, we're going to be reviewing the Nerf Raptor Strike. The Nerf Raptor Strike is a sniper rifle, which is part of the AccuStrike series. Um, Nerf's AccuStrike line has more accurate darts. Sadly, I actually lost my darts during testing. So we don't. I don't have any darts to show you, but I do have modulus darts from my old, from my long striker view. Which go check that out, guys. Um, so the Raptor Strike is a sniper rifle. Um, its basic aesthetics are: it has one of its special features is this little flip-up sight. If you can see this flip-up sight, um, it, a lot of people say it's magnifying, but what it sometimes does is it distorts the thing, so it looks like it's magnifying. It doesn't actually magnify. But this fight is actually really useful for them. I know a lot of people complain that you don't have like a tactical rail here, like to mount your scope or anything. But I think this is a valid compromise for that scope because what you get is this like rough iron sight. And a lot of people complain about it because it's not a scope, it's not a sniper rifle. But you can see these arrows, it aligns with this um, front iron sight over here. If you align the arrows with this, you can actually tilt it up because Nerf guns, as you know, they don't actually fire in a straight line like real guns. They go like a bit of like the gravity pulls them down. So you can do your trajectory using this, using your arrows, which I think is more relevant to Nerf than a scope because scopes are basically useless. This is not useless. Um, so top, this has a um, top um, jam on uh, release so you can like get any darts on jam there. I'm using modular darts for this. Um, it comes with a bipod. This bipod is actually the same bipod as a Nerf long strike, but this one came first. This was released in 2017, I believe, and um, the long strike was released a year after. So they use the same one, but this is a gray one. This is the AccuStrike version of that. So there, this blaster um, is it's marketed as a sniper rifle because you can see like the bolt action. It's a really realistic kind of like prime, and it has a. And I really love the color scheme, like. In black and orange and some gray at the back. Um, the this like thumb stock. Um, some people I would imagine like you know if you had like you know your your hands were a bit too large for this that could like. But I think this grip is overall pretty roomy for my thumb, especially this part. You might not like it because it's like confining your fingers. For me, it's fine because I have small hands. But if you have if, if you have like bigger hands, this might be a bit of like a problem. But you just might like hit it here. I imagine, but it's all right. Um, the trigger release for the magazine, wait, I'm just gonna fire that. Um, the trigger release uh, for the, um, for the um, magazine, the, the dart release thing, it's in the trigger guard, so what you can do is, so let's say I ran out, um, I can just push forward, take that out, or um, the most unorthodox method, just do this or something, that's like the most weird method I've seen all, all the time. Now, um, the barrel here is obviously not, uh, like all Nerf get our barrels, it doesn't actually serve a purpose. But the way I like it, the thing I like about this barrel is the fact that you can see the inner like um, diameter and size of the barrel is a bit wider, so it doesn't like hit, and it also is like, it doesn't have that many walls. The only walls it does have is this wall with like holes in it, which makes it look really cool, like it's an actual functional barrel. But that's there purely for the sniper aesthetic. Now, this blaster only has one tactical rail. That is for um, the included bipod. The included um, bipod, as I said, was the, is it the same as long stroke barrel. It, it can extend, I think, it has, yeah, it has like three set, uh, well, I think the long stroke one, so this has like three, I think this has two settings. Um, so that's the long setting, and then this is the shorter setting, and then this is the like short S classic setting. It's really, I, this is probably the best bipod nerfs made. Because this one, you can put it up in a small size, but this actually, I've, um, I've checked there. This actually extends to the size of a Mega Centurion, Centurion Blaster um, bipod, which is a really large one as it's a Mega Blaster. It's obviously a Mega size as well. So that is um, the bipod, same as the Nerf Long Strike. Um, the magazine itself, is also, um, this is a completely unique magazine. This was the first of its kind. It's a six round, it's tilted, but it's also half clear and half white. 
Uh, the long strike, which we'll release really a year after, also did this with their half clear, half white um, thing on the um, magazine. It slips, it's a six star magazine. You can, it's, it's just a normal um, end strike thing, but obviously real snipers use six star magazines. You don't need more of that. One shot, one kill. Um, in the back, the stock is actually really good. Um, it's really stable, so it, it's, and it doesn't actually have an end strike stock attachment. But the included like attached stock, this, this blaster comes in one piece, you don't have to like assemble it, like the long strike stock comes detached. But this one, it's a really firm one and this blaster is not flimsy at all. And um, it's a storage stock, just like long strike, except it can't hold two, it can hold one magazine in here. This is the same as the long strike magazine, it's just half clear, um, half white. So the blaster and the long strike, never mind. The Raptor Strike and the Long Strike do have a lot of similarities um, in their like bipod and their accessories. You can't attach scope, but that makes is made up for the fact that you have this um, thing. Now, um, this is how the I, this can stand up by itself. It goes 30 centimeters high, I believe, and it's a really like I would I love this Blaster's paint design as well. So um, I couldn't get it a boxing. Um, for this blast I already unboxed it, but let's go to the firing demo guys and see it on the ring. Um, this is the Nerf Raptor Strike firing demo using a white elite modular stock.